Yo, what's good? Yo, what's going on guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Broadway, back again with another video, man. So, let's get right into it, man. So, today, we're gonna talk about what method is the best method for you. For me along my journey, bro, I'm going all the way back to when I first started. Now, I don't know for a lot of you guys, but if you've been following me for a while, then I'm pretty sure you've already seen my previous videos of my first journey and not only my first journey but my second journey uh they always say third time the charm right <laughs> but um yeah man so basically what do i use for my hair or what did i use for my hair um well you have the towel rub method sponge method now there's also a third method i'm gonna get into that a little bit later on in this video but let's start off with the towel rub method so I just went and grabbed a towel, bro, you know what I'm saying? Microfiber, uh, specifically, you know what I mean? If you want to use it for your hair. Um, so usually, man, what I do is, with the towel rub method, it's, it's pros and cons to everything, guys. So I want you guys to already understand that before I explain these uh, methods. But the towel rub method, for me, man, this method here worked very, very well. Um, I can definitely give it a thumbs up if you guys do want to try this method. The only thing I will say about this right here is that it made my hair a little too thin. Like, you know how when you rubbing across your hair like that or whatever like that, it made my hair a little too thin. And for a lot of you guys <clears throat> that know me and follow my new subscribers, if you don't know, I don't like skinny locks. I don't like having skinny dreadlocks. That's just not my preference. You know what I mean? So, if I have something to do with it, I'm not gonna have skinny locks. Just because I did learn from my previous journey. You know, having skinny locks, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but when your locks are skinny at the root, then that's when you either two things. You either need to reattach it to another dreadlock and twist those together. You can do that. You know what I mean? Really, that's the only method. You know what I'm saying? Unless you, you know what I'm saying, cut it out. You know what I mean? Um, I had I had a few in my previous journey that was like up front up here. You know, I'm really not trying to show y'all you guys my hair right now because I'm trying to save it for the update i don't want to constantly i don't want to make videos every day or every other day when i do make videos and you guys still see my hair kind of beats the purpose of the whole update scenario situation so that's why i got the hood on for any of y'all that's asking in the comments but back to the towel rub man. if i was to rate this a one out of ten i would say on how it works i would say maybe a nine maybe at 8.5 depending on your type of hair. You know, a lot of times people try to use the sponge or the towel rub method with wet hair. Now, I don't know, for me, I my hair never really twisted together or, you know, matted together when I had wet hair. Like, it's okay to have it damp, you know what I mean? But this might work wonders for you guys. You know what I'm saying? It might work perfectly. You might be like, hell, I don't even need this one. Saying. But for all my sponge users, you know what I'm saying? This to me is probably the best bet. You know what I'm saying? Just because it just gets it gets all of it. You know what I mean? And I just feel like the hair attaches to this and it makes your hair go ahead and twist, you know what I'm saying? The friction of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like this is probably the best method right here. Now, I feel like this is for if you want to start dreads. And I'm saying this, I'm saying these methods are for if you want to start dreads. Like if you want to retwist your hair, you can definitely use these two methods. They, these two methods will still retwist your hair. You don't even have to go to a hairstylist. It'll do it itself. You can do it yourself. If you're not that type of person that wants to do your locks yourself with your bare hands that might take hell i don't know two hours three hours you know what i'm saying 
Just stick to one of these methods, bro. I promise you. You stick to one of these methods, bro, and you can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys prefer to use? And if you haven't used any of these methods, what method do you think you would use? Make sure you let me know down below in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Because I really want to know. Uh, but if you guys ask me, the sponge is probably the best bet. Now, there also is a third method. Now, this method here is strictly all you need is your hand. And no, I'm not talking about that, fellas. If you take your hand and you put it on your head and you go in circular motion, just like if you was using the sponge, your hand can retwist your hair just as well. I learned that from an old YouTuber. I can't really remember the name right now, but I used to watch him years, years back. He's a free former. He's been doing it for almost eight, nine years now, man. His locks is almost down his back, which is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video, guys. Uh, like I said, let me know what method you guys use or what method you guys would like to start using down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, make sure you hit that like button for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I really would appreciate it. But other than that, man, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in my next video, man. I'm out.